I heard somebody in traffic next to me, in the car next to me, um, saying that Christmas is just around the corner. We're just 47 days away from Christmas. And I thought, oh my goodness, the year is running so fast. But do you feel Christmas in the air yet? Are you feeling Christmassy? Have you started uh, buying things for your Christmas hampers and planning Christmas activities? I haven't. Uh, I don't really smell the Christmas breeze in the air yet. So I'm hoping that as the weeks go by and as we get closer to December, we'll begin to feel the reason for the season Christmas. Anyway, today we have a very um, interesting and packed show for you. And even though I'm here alone this morning, Bella will join me as we go. On Wednesdays, we like to call our panel or our hosts on the show a special Woman Crash Wednesday show. So on Wednesdays, it's just us girls. So Bella will come a little later um, on the show today. But today, if you are, sit, you are seated at your, in your couch, if you're watching us live on television, I want you to take your phone and dial with me. Star 439 hash and get to win 1,000 Ghana CDs absolutely free because Christmas is around the corner. And one sure thing that can make you smile and feel the season is good money in your pocket. So every day you can win 1,000 Ghana CDs and smile all the way to Christmas. If you're watching us on your phone, on Facebook or YouTube, just get out of Facebook now and dial star 439 hash and you could win 1,000 Ghana CDs absolutely free. We call it cash out and you can do it at any time during the show. But I heard from people who have won many times that this time is the best time to do it between now and Johnny's Bite. So, Take out your phone and dial and win 1,000 Ghana cities. Free money. Now, let me take you through the plans we have uh, for you today on the show. If you heard uh, yesterday, uh, politician Arthur Kennedy made a suggestion. And the suggestion is that considering the good numbers that Kennedy Japan pulled during the NPP flag ship race, it is a good idea to consider him as the vice president or vice presidential candidate to Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Now, on the day of elections, as the numbers came in during the polls, a lot of social media commentators made similar uh, remarks and similar suggestions. What do you think? Do you think that considering the good performance that Kennedy Japan pulled last Saturday and how he showed up, even though he entered a race a little late and Baumia, as has been said, was the establishment candidate, Kennedy was able to pull really decent numbers. Does this mean that if he runs with Dr. Baumia, the party has a better chance of winning the elections in 2024? That's the question we are asking you this morning on our This Morning segment. So as soon as we activate the phone lines, you can call in and let us know what you think. And then, of course, we're going to go over to Johnny's Bites. Um, Johnny has some very interesting information to share with us this morning, like he always does. And then we'll switch uh, also to our big issue. And this morning we have the men in the studios. We're going to be talking to Malik Basantali, the Deputy Communications Officer, NDC, also to Bernard Mona, former national, uh, former chairman of the People's National Convention, and to Awal Mohammed from the NPP communications team. We're going to be talking about the fact that going into the 2024 elections, at least for the two major political parties, it's an all northern affair as Baumia faces Mahama in 2024. Uh, what does this mean? What are your thoughts on that? We'll have that conversation at exactly um, right after Johnny's bite. And then the energy minister and VRA are set to update parliament today on the Akosombo Dam spillage. Um, we have been waiting for information about what's happening. Is the water receding? If the water is receding, does it mean that um, homes are going to be restored? Can people go back to their homes? What is VRA doing? What are updates about the spillage and more? The energy minister will update parliament this morning or later today. And so we'll be talking about that as well. And then we have a conversation with Get Fund. Uh, we're going to be talking to the Get Fund administrator, Dr. Richard Ampofu. We do there are a lot of um, concerns about the fund, how to access funding, and what it means, who 
gets access to funding and more. Bella would have that conversation with Dr. Richard Ampofo Buedu um, as we go. And we have a few other conversations that we'll bring to you between now and 10 a.m. So you stick and stay with us. You're watching TV3 New Day. Let's go straight into uh, this morning conversation about Canadian Japong and how uh, he can turn the fortunes of the NPP around or forward going into the 2024 elections if he's considered as running mate to Dr. Baromia. We have our first caller on the line. Hello? Hello. Yes, sir. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Umar Farouk Sabonjira from Tamara. Farouk, how are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Amazing. What are your thoughts yeah. on the fact that Kennedy Japan should be considered as running mate to Dr. Baumia? Uh, well, that's uh, some, I mean, some of uh, some people's opinion. And left to me, I wish we could, I mean, we should allow the flag bearer to choose the one that can partner him for us to get, I mean, to break the age. But if the flag bearer, I mean, thinks so that Canada, Japan should partner him, why not? But what I only know is that I would like, I mean, I wish the flag bearer should choose someone who comes from Ashanti region. I think the energy minister will not be, I mean, will be the best, I mean, partner for the flag bearer because the 2024 election will be based on so many issues. Actually, I'm always leader and I wish to appeal to the leadership of the party. They should, I mean, they should not detach themselves from the grassroots. Yes, I'm a grassroots man and I think maybe can I guess the point is also a grassroots person. So it will be good if the flag bearer thinks so. But I suggest that maybe the flag bearer should choose someone who comes from a sentry region. And I know Puna or the energy minister should have been there, I mean, the best partner for the flag bearer. Mm. And mind you, we, the leadership, I mean, we, the supporters of MPP, I mean, we will come out with our numbers and campaign more than what we did the previous year to make MPP and to make Dr. Mahmoud Bawe as the President of the Republic of Ghana in the 2024 2025. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Farouk. Farouk thinks that um, the running mate should be chosen from the Ashanti region, preferably to him, Dr. Machu Poku Prempe, the Energy Minister. What do you think? Calls have been made for Kennedy Japan to be considered as running mate to Dr. Paomia because of the numbers he pulled. It's believed that he has a strong base in the party and probably in the country. And a ticket with Baumia and Kennedy Japan is probably what the NPP needs to win 2024. Do you agree? What do you think? You can call us. Uh, the number is on the screens. We have Malik on the line from Tamale. Hello, Malik. Hello. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, madam. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts on the consideration of Kennedy Japan uh, for running mate? Okay, good morning and good morning to your listeners. Yes. Yes. Do you think that Kennedy Japan should be considered as running mates to Dr. Baumia? Okay. Uh, for me, left me alone. We NDC, we don't care whether uh, Kennedy Japan is choosing as the running mate or not. All I would know is uh, we'll do everything possible to win 2024 elections. You see, uh, Kennedy has said a lot of things, and now when you see uh, people will be questioning him about the things that he said about his own party. Okay. So, 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 so I think NPP, whether they have chosen him or not, they will not be able to win the election 2024. Okay. All right. Yes. So, Thank so, you. so it's not a nightmare to us. It doesn't we'll matter to you. Okay. Thank you so much, Malik, uh, for calling us and uh, for sharing your thoughts. Malik thinks that for the NDC 
or for followers of the NDC. It doesn't matter who Dr. Baumia chooses, uh, whether he chooses Kennedy Japong or somebody else. It doesn't matter to them at all. Well, <laughs> fair point. You can also call and let us know uh, what your thoughts are. And you did mention, yes, Kennedy Japong had made some statements in the past which could come back to bite him if he is considered as running mate. Uh, comments about Dr. Baumia and so on. What would this mean if he is considered as running mate to him. We have another caller on the line. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Wisdom. Wisdom. Yes. You're welcome. Wisdom. You're welcome to the show. What are your thoughts on this? What I have to say is that the uh, picking Kennedy to be a running mate for Baumia, that's the vice president mm -hmm. when yeah. I change anything. They are from the same tree, so they will do the same thing. And Kennedy will be asked questions about the things he said about Baumia during their primaries. Okay. So picking him is he said, no, no. I'm sure the MPP can never retain any seat, and they can never win the 2024 election. Who do you think he should run with? During the primaries. Who do you think he should run with? The NDC. Hello? Who do you think he should run with? Kennedy can never help Baumia to win the 2024 election. Okay, so who, sh who should they consider? I can't really tell. They should do their ground work very, very thoroughly for them to choose someone who can help them win the 2024 election. But as for, as for Kennedy, it's a no-no for you? Yes, it's a no-no. <laughs> Mahama will take it if they pick Kennedy to run with Baumia. All right. Thank you so much uh, for calling. Thank you so much. So he says Kennedy Japan is an absolute no-no. Yes, uh, things that Kennedy has said could come back um, if the consideration is made and he's chosen as running mate. But wouldn't this suggest to us, Ghanaians, that the NPP is a united party and that they cannot be torn apart because of comments that are made during campaigning? Uh, what do you think? Call us. The number is um, on the screen for this morning's segment today. Calls have been made for Kennedy Japan to be considered as running mates with Dr. Baumia going into the 2024 elections. Others have also um, suggested uh, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, the energy minister, who would actually later today be on the floor of parliament to update the House about matters arising and so on um, from the Akosombo Dam spillage. He's going to be doing this with VRA. Uh, we have another caller on the line from Ashaiman. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes, sir. What's your name? I'm David. And I'm calling from Ashaiman. Yes, Dennis, you're welcome to the show. Um, actually, you see, uh, excuse me to say this, but um, Kennedy, uh, Japan has sold his name with comments he made about Dr. Baumia. And it's going to be very difficult for Dr. Baumia to select Kennedy as his running mate. Um, but mind you, let me also say this. Um, that's not going to be a problem for the NDC at all. Because looking at the NPP party now, there's no one with the credibility to contest uh, Mahama in the 2024 general election. There's no one? <laughs> yes, no one. They, they've okay. lost credibility. <laughs> I see. So for me, for me, I think um, Dr. Baumia can select Napu as his running mate. Because um, at least he has a little credibility. And then he's I also see. from the Ashanti as well. So a Medna and an Ashanti man pairing would be okay, quite okay and helpful to the party. But even um, with that, whoever they select, NDC will still win the 2024 general election. Okay. But as for you, Kennedy Japan is an absolute no. No, no, no. no. Kennedy Japan is a no, no. All right. Thank you so much. She thinks that uh, whoever the NPP goes with, the, the, the battle was, is already lost <laughs> to the NDC. But w what do you think? Do you agree? Um, do you think that the comments that Kennedy Japan passed about Baumia during the campaign 
could get in the way of his chances of being selected. But he did uh, congratulate Dr. Baumia after the declaration of results. He did um, support him and agree that the elections were free and fair and pledged his support for the campaign. Doesn't that suggest to us that um, everything that was said during the heat of the campaign is all in the past, it's, it's all history. And the party is now presenting a very united front uh, to go into the 2024 elections, regardless of things that have been said in the past, we're moving forward. What are your thoughts? Let us know. Call us, uh, the number is on the screen. Does Canadian Japan have what it takes to help Dr. Baumia enter 2024 and win? Uh, the elections. For those who think that definitely Dr. Baumia needs to consider an Ashanti person, and so uh, names have been mentioned, Napo, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, and so on. Uh, do you think that's what the NT MPP needs going into 2024? Let us know. Sewa is on the line. Hello? Yeah, hello? Hi, Sefa. Yes, please. I called you Sewa. I'm sorry. You're welcome, Sefa. Okay. Uh, yes, please. I'm calling from Canada. You're welcome. Tell us, what are your thoughts on this matter? Well, uh, I, I thank you very much. Uh, as for Kennedy, I, I, I'm not sure Ghanaians will even vote for uh, NPP party if they, if they take Baumia as a running game. Why is that? Because, oh, he, he has he's, he's gotten so many kids that we can play. Even but the way he said uh, he, he declared war, uh, if you see a Votarian in a Ashanti region beating, beat people from Accra and the rest, all these things are on the neck of him. How then can we make such a person uh, a vice president? I am not sure if MPP will go that target, they are serious for business. But all those statements yes. notwithstanding, he still pulled 37% of the votes during the flag race. That is the reason why race. the MPP is not serious. Mm. They are not serious at all. They are not serious. If you look at the character of Ken, the way he speaks, the way he acts, oh, we are not serious. If Ghanaians will accept Ken as vice president, then I'm not, I don't know where we are going. Hmm. Thank you very much. So you're concerned about his temperament, that he doesn't have the temperament of a vice president? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. He, has, he hasn't. I see. He's not having any, any, any quality of a vice president. Hmm. Yes. Uh, I see. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you, uh, Sefa, for that call. You can also call us. Let us know what you think, and I should tell you, that unfortunately we will not have Johnny's bite today. Johnny is a little under the weather. And we wish him a speedy recovery. So we'll take one last call and then we'll have the segment. So uh, you can call us the number on the screen. Do you think that the man Kennedy or Hini is the one that Baumia should consider going into 2024? We've got Isa on the line. Hello, Isa. Kennedy, Japan. But I didn't see. economy, base of economy. That is all. A Juma, why now consider no? Oh, he said, I'll take it later. I'll be to better. I'll be to because he's a man of integrity now. I'll be to my eye to quality about MPP. And even so, on a class, I'll be to 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 the economy. Economy. Dr. Baumia is a guru of economy. And economy is a guru of Madam, you are here. She is 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 
So he thinks that uh, Mahama should be elected uh, in 2024. He doesn't think the NPP stands a chance, among other things, because of the economy. Thank you for that call. And thank you, all of you who sent, who called us uh, this morning to share your thoughts on whether or not Canadian Japan should be considered as NPP flag bearer. I think I can take one last call before we say goodbye, I'll wrap up the segment. Hello. I think I lost you there, but thank you uh, for trying to call uh, on our this morning segment. We'll have more conversations on this matter later, but soon to come, we're going to be talking about the fact that going into 2024, it's an all Northern affair. What does it mean about uh, going, what, what does it mean to enter the 2024 elections with two men from the Northern region? Um, a lot of very interesting comments have been made considering their historical background, their parents, and what this means for who they choose to run with as running mates, especially for the NPP. Also, we'll talk about the Energy Minister and VRA updating as or updating Parliament on what's happening in the regions that have been so badly affected by the Akosombo Dam spillage. All right, so I think that last caller is back on the line now. Hello? Hello? Uh, good morning, my name is Titus, I'm from Bulga. Hi, Titus from Bulga, yeah, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, it's interesting, uh, considering uh, Kinder Japan as a running It's uh, just a mismatch. It's just, it's just a mismatch. Mm. Okay. The man can't even control himself. He needs to be handled. You mm. If you look at his utterances, his demeanor, he's not somebody who can be true. There are things that when you are a serious politician, sometimes you need to compromise. Sometimes you need to just lie low. And he speaks, sometimes, uh, excuse me, now. He says he speaks the truth about what's happening. He is honest. Isn't that what we need in a politician? Hello? Okay. Well, that was my last call, and I think I lost you halfway, but thank you so much for calling. Stay tuned. You're watching TV3 New Day. When we come back, it'll be time for Big Issue.